Happy Monday. Good morning, guys. I got your head cut off, sorry. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. We're so glad that it's Monday and we're back to normal. Really? I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad last week is over. I know, me too. Last week was rough on the Jackson family. We're glad to be, I'm glad to be back. Feels like I'm. I'm gonna yeah. make it where you can see his head. I feel like I'm in a new place. I've not been here so long. And uh, guys, thank you for bringing all your redo arrangements and orders for corals. I'm gonna get on them this week. So I apologize that uh, I wasn't here last week to, to work on those, but today's the day I'm gonna get after them. And so you'll be getting calls that your florals are ready. So. Hey, and he wasn't here last week because his dad was really, really, really sick in the hospital in Dallas, but He's better today. He's we got better. a good report this morning. He's in the shower. Dortha's watching. Um, he walked down the hall yesterday. He's eating a little more. So good news. Yeah. Very yeah. good. Benny found out it's not fun to stay in the hospital with people. Well, it's not fun for anyone. <laughs> no sleep. <laughs> it's just hard for everybody. For sure. But. Yep. Hey, you need come see me today, woman. Good morning. Um, so I had a couple of things to say and now I can't remember any of them. That's weird. Oh, I was supposed to do meatless Monday today with my friends. Jen, I already let you down. I got up, I, I cooked bacon, I ate bacon. And then I got to work this morning and I thought, oh, it's meatless Monday. I totally forgot, but I did meatless Sunday so I'll make up for it tomorrow. Oh I'm, my goodness. I'm glad you forgot because I enjoyed the bacon. <laughs> <laughs> I failed already. Anyway, sorry girls, I let you down. Hey, did you know there are, I, I think there's two kinds of people. There's <laughs> teachers and there's students. Teachers and students, okay. What are you? Um, we all, I think we vary from time oh. to time. But I'm just saying, situations around us and people around us, if we're attuned to our own beings, and we're attuned to what it is we want and we're living in the moment or striving to live in the moment, there are teachers all around us. And uh, hopefully sometimes we can be a teacher to people around us too and hopefully in a, in a positive way. But you know, uh, even, even just my dad being in the hospital, he was a teacher for me this weekend to recognize I don't, I don't wanna be there. He doesn't wanna be there. Um, what do you want? I want health and uh, That's right. you know, so, it just re-taught me, re-showed uh, me again, that I want to get on and stay on a good health regimen because um, it's, it's easy right now in, in our age category to still be fine, but then one day as we get older, it, things begin to fall apart. But the other thing I recognize is we can, whether it's health or relationships or finances or whatever it is, we can't always go back and we never can go back, but we can always start where we are. And there's always, if we've got breath in us, there's always a chance, a hope that um, we can turn things around where we are. If you're watching, somebody type that in. We always can start over that's good so if you're watching would you just type that in the comments you can always start over that's today right. is a good day monday's a good day to start over any day's a good day but that's great that's right. first of the week and then the other thing that's good. on my mind um is our our faith our faiths our people's faith is built in all kinds of ways ways and our faiths look different, different in all kinds of ways but it dawned on me this morning I even told Paula our faith is really it's just like a diet if we don't apply it if we don't do it if we don't ingest the right things regarding what our faith says it's void it's pointless, pointless. so wherever your faith is wherever my faith is um, it's only, it's only good if I apply it. It's true. So, anyway, that's my deep con contemplations for the morning. Yeah, that's good. We got a lot on our minds today. Yes. 
and got lots of good things going on. So we're going to get these arrangements made for you guys. Um, Scoot over and look, look at these beautiful tulips. Go that way. Look at these beautiful tulips that came in. Tulips. I got them priced Saturday. They are so beautiful and just happy. Little happy bundles of tulips. They look like a fresh bundle bundle of tulips, all different colors. You know, I could certainly do a, an arrangement for you with these, but you can also come in and buy these little bundles and just lay them beside something in your home. Maybe it's laying on a tray um, in your entry. Maybe you put a little bunny by it for springtime that's coming up. Um, you can take an arrangement that you already have and just lay these down in there to bring spring to that arrangement possibly good they're just thoughts. fun fun little little bunches that look fresh hand picked good and good they're thoughts in pink and purple and red and white this orange it's really it's fun to just start mixing all the colors really oh those are so pretty i love pink tulips so when benny and i eloped 27 years ago this week um we think it's 27 we're not for sure because um, we never remember how many years, but we think 27 this this Friday. But anyway, when we eloped, um, he surprised me and had white, fresh white tulips in a cooler in the back of the car because um, we drove away to New Mexico and eloped. Um, and I kept those. They dried and they looked terrible. I kept them until we moved to Florida a few years ago, and I finally thought it was time to throw them away. But anyway, I love, box. yeah, I kept them in a shoebox. But anyway, I love, love tulips. I love white tulips. Um, and speaking of white, um, I have my dingo boots on today, but I'm not going to lift my leg because I got to shout out to a really good teacher. You said sometimes people are teachers and sometimes they're students. Well, Greg Foster, you are the man. I went to Greg's yoga yesterday. It was so amazing. It was uplifting. It was awesome for my soul and my body, but I can't hardly lift my legs today to show you my boots. See, that's as far as I can go. <laughs> so... He anyway, out, huh? he, Greg Foster, if you have not taken one of his classes, you've got to go. It's, he's the man. Okay, back to you. Well, I've got some beard products here. This particular one, it's, it's Horn Toad Beard Products, created by a teacher right here in Lubbock, Texas. It's an excellent product. Um, I've got the black tie because that's my personal favorite that I use on my beard, and that's why everybody wants to touch it, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if you heard the story. It was on Benny's personal page. I may have to share that with you guys, but, um, but the lady might watch it, and she might see, but somebody at Chick-fil-A, like, touched his beard and was asking if he had a hairy chest and crazy stuff. So, anyway, she was like... Not an employee. <laughs> no. No, no, no. Just somebody in line. So, anyway, it was a shocking thing, anyway, but funny story. Back to the beard products. For Valentine's Day, and for today only, they are 25% off, so... Um, Not today only, through Valentine's Day. Okay, thank you. Through Valentine's Day. Sorry about we that. We want your guys on this product because they're going to love it. It's going to be their favorite yeah. gift. So it, just, it helps groom it. It softens it. It conditions your your beard and the, and your skin. Now and it I will love not my little beard comb. Hey, Greg. Um, it will not trim those long hairs because no. last night Piper was hugging Benny goodnight and she said. You got some long hairs. I'm like, you know what? That's true. Every time we do a live video, I'm always like, oh, I tried to work on it this morning. It's got some long hairs, but I don't know why I don't notice till we're live. It's just a quirk of mine. It's probably a fault. Uh, anyway, well, we love these products. 25% off. Support this side hustle of Quentin, our sweet fourth grade math teacher with a beard to die for. Yeah, he's for. got a great beard. So come in and see us today. We're both going to be here, and Piper's going to be here after she passes her history test this morning at South Plains. And remember what the definition of insanity is. We all know what it is. It's doing the same thing, expecting different results. So if it's not working for you, change. It's okay. It's Ooh. okay. you got to change sometimes to get something to work for you. Somebody type that down there. Type it in the comments. It helps us out. Plus, someone else is going to read that and go, ooh, that's true. That's me. I'm doing that. The same thing over trying to get the different result. Excellent. Yeah. Well, I'm just talking to me this morning. So, you know, you just got to sometimes recognize what's not working. We've got to wake up sometimes and get out of our slumber to recognize what's going on in our life. And it's not always what we want, but sometimes we just go through life like a zombie and things fall apart around us and we don't even recognize so it. True. And and what we've got to do is be in the moment. We can't live in yesterday Ooh. and we can't worry about tomorrow. Preach. Um, so I've got some heavy stuff on me this morning. And uh, 
All is good though. Good. Yeah. So y'all have see a great us at day. Stands on the corner of 82nd and Quaker. We're here all day till 5:30, or until you guys leave, we'll stay late. Absolutely. And uh, have a super Monday. Love y'all. <laughs>